Don't try to sneak into your room like that. I know what you've got behind your back. Records. More no records. This is, the, this is the plus record player. Yes, sir. And, and this company, plus, plus audio. Plus audio. This is an American company. Henry Cross. It's, it's London based. We're kind of a global team. Oh, it's London based. London based, yes. And we have one partner in Italy and um, the audio engineering and kind of marketing element in Boston. Okay. Yeah. Table is, is isolated from um, any of the feedback. So actually, you have a very low frequency response on this without any of the feedback issues that normally play in the system. Can you take your stop off and do something? Yes, sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I want to find red with it, which is nice. That's a red. Sounds good. And then this is. This is that's a nice spread with it. That's correct. It's a wide one. My turntable is Blackstone turntable. Okay. Okay. Now, this is so this is a idler wheel drive turntable. Yes. And you have an optical encoder in here. Yes. That has a thousand. Two sensors. Okay, two sensors. And then I can adjust the the tone during the play. Look here. Okay. So, without quartz. Oh, without quartz, I can adjust the speed. From there, okay. Okay. But that locks so it in. So, it's locked. At the end, so it's locked in. Okay. So this is the first time you've actually had it playing at a, at one of these shows, correct? Yes. No, it's, uh, it's new. Total different. The, it's very complicated to produce it because uh, I have produced the quartz. Uh, the technology is very difficult because. Uh, uh, um, the motor every rotation uh, must control from 1000 the speed and the torque. I can adjust the torque, the torque here and uh, when I move the screw I have more torque. Okay. Can, you, can you hear it? Difference? If you, the difference is if, if you make the two rotation, yes, you can. What is this? What are you selling this for? With its cost, the cost uh, uh, suggested the time price is very expensive to produce. No, you don't need to make apologies for anything expensive in this world. <laughs> in fact, the more expensive, the less you have to apologize. Thirty-nine thousand. Thirty-nine thousand. Okay, that, in this world, that's a moderately priced turntable. For me, it's expensive. Okay, and now we should show it sliding in and out. Can adjust the over and, and then it locks. Titanium. <laughs> cool. Titanium. Uh -huh. Can you walk us through this? So this is the new entry model of uh, TARDIS. It comes in a package with the turntable and the tone arm. Ah. It's with a tangential pivoted tone arm easy. And it has uh, RCA outlets included. 
and uh, sells for around nine thousand uh, dollars for the package. And the bu that one costs how much? This is around twenty-two thousand. Oh, so it's a bit. This, yeah, this is really a good price. And how is it? What's the drive system under there? Can you show it to me? This is a short belt drive system. <laughs> So it's like half of what the other, doesn't the other one have two of these? Or like the other one has uh, additional flywheels, right. but not this one. Right. Oh, but that looks, that's beautiful. $9,000. Are you shipping it yet? Is it that good? Or is it brand new? It will be shipped in uh, July. Oh, and is, uh, who, is Brian doing this? Brian. Yeah, I'll try to hit him up to, to review one for you. It's really cool. And it's coming with an EMT cartridge? No. No. I was going to say, how can you do that? <laughs> it's difficult with the distributors. So what cartridge will it, will it come with? It, it comes with a cartridge? No. No cartridge? Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay, so this is the world premiere of the new Doman, what's it called? It's the Helix 2. Helix 2. Okay, so obviously I see it's it's got a single arm board instead of two arm boards. There are a couple of innovations in it. First of all, it uses the same platter, same minus K suspension system. Oh. Arm board is compatible to the Helix One. Major difference, it does not move. Oh. It's solid. Let me just stop. So it. How, how can it be solid and yet it has the minus K? Mechanisms in build inside <coughs> and the thing moves. Ah. So the flotation mechanism, the minus K mechanism, suspends the whole in inner structure. I see. So it's, it's almost like in the old days, like a torrent that is with springs. But I'm not, saying, I'm not saying it's comparable, it's better, yeah. but I'm saying it's a similar kind of... People used to an AOP-12. Yeah. This is operated in the same way. Yeah. Just it has a minus K that has all six degrees of freedom for the movement inside. Right. Super low resonance frequency. You adjust the minus K from here. Oh, there's a wheel. Oh, yeah. oh, cool. That's great. So you don't have to access the back anymore. Right. Also, there is a small light there that shows you the level of the minus K. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. Also, no external control box. We managed to get a super modern small power supply inside. A more intelligent servo motor as well. Really? All the electronics are built in. So it's a self-contained unit. 48 centimeters wide, it fits on any standard rack. Depth is 40 centimeters, like all the standard units. So this is gonna be our, I think, best seller. And what is this gonna sell for? 25K with the arm. 25K with the arm? Yeah. Uh, but you could, you could get it without the arm if you we want. Uh, yeah. Initially, we're gonna sell the first 25 pieces with the donor. As a product, standards. okay. And then uh, we'll start selling it separately. And what cartridge do you have on there? This is a Madaki. Madaki, yeah, okay. that's a nice cartridge. I got one. We support them. We love the guys. Yeah. So. And uh, what are what are the um, what are these four holes? This is for adjusting the magnetic suspension of the arm board. The arm board is still decoupled from the minus K. Right. The same way as on the Helix one. Right. We have a slow ramp up and slow stop, so that it doesn't wear the belts. Yep. Is it the same belt system as the same double belt system? Wow. Mm. It's scaled down and optimized uh, Helix One. And how would it's, you say it's much lighter the construction inside because uh, it's about half the weight of the Helix One. So how does it compare sonically? Good question. Uh, we haven't done no, this no, yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's that's to be determined. Actually, this is so new that it's been playing only for like. Half an hour. Wow. So, we're play a record I brought? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here's what this is. This is technically the JMW Titan tone arm. Um, this was uh, to be a more robust tone arm. We've gotten really good at our 3D printing. That's the first thing. So now with the 3D printing, we have a nicer finish, we have nicer tolerance, and we're solving a couple of problems because everybody hates with our, our uh, tone arms the drop counterweight. Yeah, now you yeah. have a thread. Now this is the first one, this is a prototype just to show it off here at, to talk with the distributors. Has the dual pivot on there automatically. So this accessory, which mounts right onto the side, 
So no more drilling through the turntable. Good idea. And then it comes standard with the plate so it could glide right across it. So by having this metal back, th this material, or it was, it was too heavy. When we did it all 3D printed, and all the magic of the 3D is in the arm wand, right there. So with the 3D, before we had to have two counterweights on there because it was way too heavy. So by having the metal over here and then having the threaded so it's easier to mount, now the weight's right, it works all around, and it's uh, it's just a better sound. And uh, we, we messed around with it uh, in uh, Chicago, and we were just blown away with the difference. Uh, the first day we listened with the Lyra Delos using a JMW referenced tone arm, and the second day we used this one, and it was just such, such a sweet sound. It had a, a much wider sound stage, had a, a very like a musical sound to it. The voices sound a little bit more natural. And, uh, Hey, you want a soda? I got no. diet in case you're watching your girlish figure. <laughs>
Pizza, das, das, das Pilsen, Turntables. At the show here, it's in. Uh, it was yeah, it, on, it, on display or, or yeah. only. Yeah. But these are products now, which are built in a small series, wow. as far as I understand. So this is the Derenville Modulaire. Yeah, exactly. It's, I think this that's the, the brand. And this is the linear trucking now, which is uh, supposed to uh, work. Complement this uh, this um, table. And there's also a motor unit, which is a separate. Is available as a separate product, which is really just here. So, in other words, someone could buy that motor unit to you if it and yes. use with their own turntable. Is that yes. oh. Can use it for every turntable. Oh, that's interesting. So no one's ever done that before. No, which is really no. interesting. It's brand new. I sold two to uh, Texas. To me. Texas. In Texas. They don't have motors uh, down there. They need no, to buy there, them. There's a guy. He has uh, two um, Simon York record players, ah. and both motors are broken. Uh, and he got two of this one, and he's absolutely satisfied. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> but this is not, there's also and a bigger see, one. So, 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 so the speed is controlled from there. Yes, you can speed 35. You can pitch. But doesn't it depend upon the, the platter as well? No, no it's going to no, affect no. it. It shows you how mathematically yeah. confident I am. Okay. So it's programmable, programmable if you want by a computer. Oh. Okay. And so what does that cost? Uh, that costs uh, 3500 uh, 3, uh -huh. okay. The same unit is in here. So we have just three Devonville products, turntable, motor unit, which belongs to it, but right. it's also available separately. The and the arm, the arm is a manufactured product now that you're selling? Yes, yes I'm selling. Last year you have seen the, the prototype, right. the big Devonville TT2. Yes. And this is a, a serious a serious product. This is the DTT-03. It's a limited edition. Completely made by myself in general. Wow. And how much do I, do I ask what that would cost someone to this buy? This is uh, 39,000. Okay. It's 
much cheaper than the other one from the last year. Yeah. And it's looking perfect. Wow. That's a servo control? Servo control. It's called controlled by laser. You see this uh, yeah. This laser is yeah. measuring the distance to this plate. Mm -hmm. It's 25 millimeters. The laser has a precision of 5 microns. And if wow. this is moving, uh, the electronic is uh, compensating. compensating yes. Wow. How much does that weigh? The weight of the arm? Yeah. Uh, four kilograms. So you don't want you don't want that on a suspended turntable. <laughs> no. You can put it on any, on every other turntable. Well, yeah, but you don't want a suspended. You don't want it on a suspended. No, not a suspended. No, you want the suspension under the whole thing. Yes, like, like I right. did here. Yeah. And so, and what does this table cost? You see here? Right, exactly. That's how you would want to do it. What is the table? The turntable uh, turn is 30, 34 thousand. Forty-four. Thirty. Thirty-four. Thirty-four. And what is the platter made? Is that palm? No, the platter is uh, three materials. Uh, beneath uh, the, uh, is brass. Right. In, in oh. Black chrome and brass. Oh. Aluminium. And this is uh, corium. It's, it's uh, acrylic material. Right. right. So it's a sandwich. Yeah, sandwich. Yeah. 100% magnetic bearing, ah. absolutely no loys, the loys ness, and uh, lifelong guarantee. Oh. So maintenance free. That's just for as long as you live. What happens when you're when you're no longer? <laughs> you pass it on to your heirs. <laughs> that was your responsibility. Okay, we're in the Trans Rotor room. They have many turntables. This is a brand new model. This is the Massey Mini. 8,900 euros, so that would be about uh, 12 to 15,000 dollars. Something there. So it's, there's a lot of Massimo in there. There's a lot of mass. How heavy is that platter? Uh, the platter is 16, 70 kilograms for 9 pounds. Okay, it looks heavier. Mm -hmm. That's fine, it's just a, it has a special shape in, on the inside. Uh -huh. And there are two motors, one on each side. Uh, two motors, uh, which you need for the heavy platter. Right. And it can carry uh, up to four tone arms, just one circle. The right. design is inspired by the uh, nice micro psyche from the 80s. Ah, it's yeah. not, a, not a secret. Right. <laughs> it's but it's uh, uh, everything technical, it's a complete transport. Right. And that's the motor drum supply. Okay, that's good. That's all I need to know. Okay, so this is a Triangle Arts Master Reference turntable that we are premier in Munich, High Five Soul. What can you tell me about it? Well, this is the uh, new technology that we apply. Um, we're using the same technology on the Ultimate LE with a double platter, rotating the same direction. <laughs> yep. okay. And um, we're using the uh, hydraulic stainless steel dry bearing. Hydraulic stainless, what does that mean exactly? It's a stainless steel uh, bearing. Okay. Yep. Ball bearing? Uh, I mean, it's a spindle and ball? Yeah, it's a ball bearing. Okay. Spindle. How heavy is that, is that double platter? Um, the total of the turntable is about 200 pounds. The of platter itself is, uh, is about 70 pounds. Okay. And how much does it sell for? It's 39.9. So now we're at the Reed booth. This is the Reed Muse 1C. And they've got. That's a 5T tone arm. And they've got a tangential tracking pivoted tone arm. And then you're using a laser, a laser over there to guide the movement of the arm as it goes. Yeah, yeah. that's a feed that pull, the optical feed. I have some records that are that bad. No, I don't. <laughs> and what, is this a direct drive table? It's a no, uh, drive. And is this arm like available as a separate product that anybody can buy? Uh, yes. And how much does that cost? Uh, 14,990 euro, including the battery power supply. Oh. 